Hi everyone. Today let's see God sees the truth but waits by Leo Tolstoy, Tolstoy from our 12th standard English textbook. Let's learn about the author. About the author, Leo Tolstoy was born on September 9, 1828 in Chula province, Russia. He is best known for his novels War and Peace, 1869, and Anna Karenina, 1877, often cited as pinnacles of realist fiction. The first achieved literary acclaim in his 20s was his semi autobiographical trilogy, Childhood, Boyhood, and Youth, and uh, Sevastopol sketches based upon his experiences in the Crimean War. Tolstoy's fiction includes dozens of short stories and several novelas such as The Death of Ivan Illich, it, which, is, uh, which, which he did uh, during 1860, 1886, Family Happiness and Haji Murad. He also wrote uh, plays and numerous philosophical essays. Tolstoy died on uh, November 20th, 1910 in Astropovo, Russia. Let's move to the next slide. Now, this is these are glossaries. So, when we are going to the getting into the lesson, I will be coming back to the glossary and slides. Glossary and slides. Okay. Now, let's move to the lesson. Yeah. In the town of Vladimir lived a young merchant named Ivan. Ivan Dimitrich Akshinov. He had two shops and a house of his own. So uh, the town the town is called Vladimir, where uh, uh, Ivan Dmitrich uh, lived, and uh, he was a merchant. Okay, and he had two shops of his own and a house also of his own. So two, he had two shops and a house. Akshin now was a handsome, fair-haired, curly-headed fellow, full of fun and very fond of singing. So Akshina was a handsome, fair-haired, curly-headed fellow and also full of fun and very fond of singing too. When quite a young man, he had been given to drink. What do you mean by that? It means that he he's, uh, drunk too much. He became a drunkard. Okay, He was a drunkard mm, and was righteous. What do you mean by right, uh, righteous? Righteous means Kalavaramana. Okay, righteous when he had had too much. So when he had drunk too much, he used to make mess over there wherever he used to be. But after he married, he gave up drinking and ex except now and then. So after he uh, after his marriage, he stopped. So he became a social drinker, we can call us. Now and then means we can call him as a social drinker. One summer, Akshina was going to the Nizhny fair as he had, uh, uh, and as he bade goodbye to his family, his wife said to him, I wonder, Matish, do not start today. I have had a bad dream about you. So, one summer, what happened? Akshina started uh, going, to, uh, started moving to a fair which is called Nizhny, uh, Nizhny Fair and as he bid, as he was telling goodbye to every one of his family members, his wife told him, I went to Mintich, please don't go today because uh, I uh, because she told him not to go, not to start that particular day because the reason was uh, she was a little scared, she had, uh, she had had a bad dream in which, uh, I mean, she felt something wrong, okay, that's why she asked him not to start that day. Akshina laughed and said, Akshina did not mind it, he just laughed and said to her, you are afraid that when I get the fare, I shall go on a spree. So he laughed and he just mocked at her that she is having a fear that if he has got into the fair, he would start go on a spree. Now meaning of go on a spree is... So indulging something, uh, indulging in something actively in an unrestrained way so she was uh, she was suspecting him that he may indulge in uh, any other uh, bad activity that's what uh, he me he meant now next is uh, he uh, his wife replied i don't know what i am afraid of she said i don't know i i don't know the reason for my fear but i am scared that's how she said all i know is that i had a bad dream only thing she know she she was knowing that 
she had a bad dream i dreamt you returned from the town and when you took off your cap i saw your hair was quite gray so she told uh, that my dream was in such a way that uh, my dream was in such a way that uh, when you are uh, when uh, when you were back from the fair and when you removed your cap your your hair was full of grain color it means white hair became uh, white hair so and akshana laughed again akshana laughed that's lucky sign that's a lucky sign he said that's a lucky sign said he so that's going to be a lucky sign he said uh, see if i don't sell or if i don't sell out all my goods and bring uh, if uh, and uh, bring you some presents from that fair see if i don't sell out all these things so he is going to for sure he is going to sell it so if it, if, if he sells definitely he is going to bring presents uh, for uh, uh, bring uh, he is going to bring his wife some presents from the fair he said so he said goodbye to his family and drew away so what he did he said uh, bid goodbye to everyone and he drew away he started moving from there when he had traveled half way he met a merchant whom he knew and put up at put up uh, put up at the same inn for that night for the night they had some tea together and then went to bed in adjoining rooms so what happened at that after he went half way he started his traveling and he went half way he met one of his old friend whom he knew very well and one of his old friend uh, exactly meaning whom he know whom he knew very well and uh, they were together in the same inn in here means a hotel okay and for the same night they were uh, in the same hotel they had tea together they, they both had tea together then the, they both went to the adjoining room they didn't they didn't stay in the same room but they went to the uh, adjoining rooms okay to have a snack sleep it is not akshina's habit to sleep late so sleep late getting up uh, very late in the morning he doesn't like who oh, akshina okay and wishing to travel while it uh, it was still cool he aroused his driver before dawn dawn means early morning okay so he got up early in the morning he aroused his uh, driver to start the journey and told him uh, to put the horse to put in the horses so they started moving before the dawn before the dawn means before the sunrise okay so he started now uh, now this is next slide uh, slide number 6 akshina looked on seeing yes so uh, we are in page number 4 now it is uh, it was not actually a habit to, to sleep late and uh, wishing to travel why it was still cool he aroused his driver before dawn and told him to put the horses okay now page after page number 5 uh, 4 is 5 okay uh, here it is mentioned okay now um let me go to the point then he made his way across the landlord of the inn in again here means the hotel okay he went he started moving from there right so uh, he didn't uh, meet his friend after the tea so he asked his uh, driver to get ready with the horses and he started his journey then he made his way across the landlord's landlord of the inn so uh, then he made his way across land he he went to meet his uh, meet the owner of the uh, inn Uh, who lived in the cottage at the back of the inn okay who was living uh, back side of the inn paid his bill so ivan demetrich paid his bill akshina that is his full name is ivan demetrich akshina he akshina he paid his bill and continued his journey continued his journey when he had uh, gone about 25 miles he so so far he has crossed uh, 25 miles he stopped for the horses to be fed so he stopped his journey there itself and uh, um, allowed his horses to feed uh, to uh, eat whatever available over there so he uh, he made his horses to gray uh, to gray somewhere okay now akshi now rested a while in the passage of the inn so it was near near uh, in again so he was uh, taking rest in the passage then he stepped out uh, stepped into the porch porch means again me he stepped into the porch 
portico okay porch and ordering a samovar what do you mean by samovar a russian metal urn for making tea urn urn a patram okay so uh, he asked for a samovar to prepare tea to be heated tea to be heated so he asked for a samovar and uh, got his own guitar and began to play so he was having his own guitar and he started to play guitar already he is interested in singing okay remember that now we are on page 5 yes right suddenly a uh, troika what do you mean by that troika in olden russia a cart pulled by a team of three horses so a cart pulled by a team of three horses okay so drew up with the tinkling bell so when it was coming it was giving a tinkling bell and official alighted and official got out of that vehicle followed by two soldiers and he, that official was followed by two other soldiers and then what happened yeah he came to akshina and began to question him that official came near akshina and started questioning him started questioning him asking him who he was and when he came when here means when okay so he was asked he started asking questions who he was who was akshina and where are where is he from so he started asking so many questions akshina answered him fully akshina was very cool in answering him and said won't you have some tea with me he casually asked the official would you like to have some tea with me he asked but the official went on cross questioning him and uh, and asking him but the official did not reply to his this question in uh, instead what he did he uh, he went on asking questioning crossing uh, cross questioning him he started asking cross questions and uh, asking him where did he, uh, you spent last night and that official started asking akshina where did he spent his last night were you alone next question was was he alone over there that is akshina was alone there and with the fellow or with the fellow merchant or he was along with the fellow merchant did you see the other merchant this morning so again the official asked next question whether he met uh, met the merchant that morning why did you leave the inn before dawn so he also he put a question over there uh, why did he uh, started his journey before dawn actually it's the habit of akshina okay now akshina wondered why he was asked all these questions but he described all that he had hap that had happened and then added why do you cross question me as if i were a thief or a robber now akshina wondered he was amazed why he was asked all these such types of questions but he, even though he was asked he explained everything as it happened and then added why why are you asking me all these questions Uh, as if i were a thief you are asking me so many questions as if i were a thief or a robber he asked the official i am traveling on my bus uh, uh, traveling on business of my own i am traveling somewhere for my own business okay he said to the official and there is no need to question me please you don't ask me any questions i am uh, traveling for my own business he replied to the official he was asked, he told to the official then the official calling the soldiers said i am a police officer of this district then the what the what the official said calling the soldiers uh, he said i am the police officer i am the police officer of this district he declared his uh, designation and i question you because the merchant with whom you spent last night had been found with his throat cut then he declared that with whom he spent with uh, with whom akshina spent that night Uh, that is that particular uh, merchant who was his once upon uh, once upon a time his friend was dead with his throat cut so he was cut in his throat and he uh, he was dead at that time we must search your things immediately what of his of official police officer said he wanted to search akshinaus baggages luggages they entered the house so they entered in the soldiers and the police officer unstrapped akshinaus luggage so they all they it was packed his uh, all his packages uh, um, luggages were packed so he asked uh, unstrap them all and searched it and he they started searching his bag suddenly of the uh, the officer drew a knife out of the out of a bag so he he what he found was a bag a uh, a uh, uh, 
he drew a knife out of a bag so one of his bag was having a knife and a uh, bag crying whose knife is this the police officer was uh, shouting like anything hanging and he start, started asking him his question whose knife was this pointing out that one what happened now we are in page six okay actually now looked and uh, i looked actually now looked and seeing the blood strained uh, uh blood strained a knife taken from his back he was fighting so actually was not knowing about uh, all these things so actually now looked and uh, seeing the blood strained the knife was blood strained and which was taken from his back and he was frightened or buying the point actually now okay how is it there uh, how is it there is blood on this knife eppadi blood vandha the knife la akshana tried to answer uh, but could hardly utter a word he tried to answer but he couldn't okay anal pesa mudiyala he couldn't utter a word but only stammered what do you mean by stammered again here to speak haltingly fumble of words tamil la solana tikki tikki pesa seriya okay fine now i don't know not mine he was uttering that i don't know about any anything of this and this is not at all mine he was saying the police officer said this morning the merchant was found uh, in bed with his throat cut so he was announcing that that particular morning the merchant was found dead in his bed with his throat cut okay you are the only person who could have done it and he was suspecting him the police officer was suspecting akshina and he told that uh, akshina was uh, the only person who, who could have stayed with him okay who could have done it also the person who, have, who had stayed over with him could have done this job this is what is assumption of the police officer the house uh the house was locked from inside apart from that he also said that the house was locked from uh inside and no one else was there nobody else was there except you he announced here is the blood strain knife in your bag and your face and manna betray you so he was telling that see we have found the blood strain knife from your bag and your face and manna betray you what is the meaning of betray betray fail let one down okay so uh your face and manner betray you the way he talks the way his face was looking that itself is telling that he is the culprit okay so the police officer came to a conclusion that akshina was the uh, one who murdered that merchant okay tell me how you killed him so next he was asking uh, let me know how did you kill him how much money you stole how much money did you steal from his Bag. He was asking so many questions. Is asking next. Akshi now, Akshi now swore, swore he had not done it. He was promising, no, I didn't do it at all. That he had not seen the merchant after that, uh, after they had had a tea together. And also he was telling that he didn't see that particular man after they both had had tea together that particular night. That is the previous night. Okay. The next day, early morning only he started from uh, started his journey from there, right? So he had no money except eight thousand rubles of his own. Also he said that I don't have any other rubles. Ruble is the currency of Russia. Okay. So he said that I have only my eight thousand rubles and uh, nothing else. Apart from that, I I didn't steal anything from anywhere. He said, and that. the knife was not his also he said that that knife uh, that particular knife was also not his he said that he declared but his voice was broken his face was pale but he was broken his voice was broken because he was scared so his voice was broken odanju ponadha avada koral odanju ponadha face was pale abbi veliri poi bayandu poi irundar manasu mogam ellame ella odambla kaati kudutadu and he trembled with fear as though he went guilty and trembled nadunga aarambicha as though he was guilty or vela nammala guilty mudivu pandra nammala kalpanta mudivu pandra andra or bayame and the manushanukku vandachi po 
the police officer ordered the soldiers to bind Akshinav and uh, and to put him in the car. So what the police officer ordered his soldiers to bind Katta Chana. Katta Akshinav to get the car to the car to the car to the As they tied his feet together and flung him into the car, Akshinav crossed himself and bent. So what the soldiers did, according to the order given by the police officer, they also did it. He they bind uh, they um, binded him and put him in the car. And Akshina just crossed and started praying and wept like a thing and started praying. His money and goods were taken from him. His all his things, properties were taken from him, and they, they, they were under the control of the police officer. And he was sent to the nearest town. And where he was sent to, Akshina was sent to the nearest town and imprisoned there. He was put behind the bars there. He was put in the jail there. Enquiries as to his character were made in Vladimir. So they started inquiring about uh, him in his own town, which is Vladimir. Okay, and the merchants and the other inhabitants, inhabitants those were uh, living over there in Vladimir. What they said, they uh, uh, they uh, the uh, the police started inquiring about the habits of uh, actually now in his hometown that is Vladimir. So the people, uh, the other merchants and the inhabitants of the town said, in the former days he used to drink. That is once once upon a time he was a drunkard, right? So they said the truth. He was a drunkard, and now and wasted his time. And also they said that he wasted his uh, wasted his time a lot. But now he was a good man because after the marriage he turned to be a good man, right? So the trial came on. He was charged with the trial came on. The court, uh, the thing was taken to the court, and uh, trial here means it was taken to the court. He was charged with murdering a merchant of Ryzen. So he was charged with the murder that is merchant of Ryzen and robbing him with the 20,000 rubles. And also, not only he, he, was, uh, he was charged with murder, but also theft. Understood children? Now page number 6 is over. We shall move to page number 7. seven. We are in 7 now. Now, his wife, his wife in despair. What is the meaning of despair? Now, let's go to the glossary. Yeah, here it is, hopelessness. What do you mean by despair? Hopelessness, no confidence. His wife was in despair without any confidence. She was, uh, she was very much hopeless, okay, and did not know what to believe. And she was not knowing what to believe. Whether it uh, was it her husband who murdered? And other mind of other mind is saying no. He would have not done that. He done that. He is a very nice man. So she is uh, really confused. Okay, her children were all quite small. Apart from that, they had a very small children. And now it is her duty to take care because he has already put behind the bars, right? Now she ha she uh, it, uh, she was the only one person to take care of the children. One was baby at her breast, and one was a very small child whom she was carrying. Uh, carrying in a sense uh, in her hands okay and uh, take uh, taking them all with her so taking the both the small baby whom she was carrying in her hand other one was walkable so uh, she took both the children and she went to that uh, she went to the town where her husband uh, was in jail so she went to the town where he was jailed at first she was not allowed to see him so at first nobody no none of the officers allowed her to meet her husband but after much begging she begged them a lot and obtained permission from the officials and was taken to him and then she was taken to meet him when she saw her husband in when she saw her husband in the prison dress and chain she saw her, her husband in the prison dress a separate dress for the prisoners and chains were so locked in chains he was locked in chains shut up with thieves and criminals he was shut he was in behind the bars with thieves and criminals she fell down she felt dizzy and fell down and did not come come to her senses for a long time she was she, uh, because she became panicked to see her husband with criminals and uh, thieves and in the prison dress and uh, he is locked in the chains and all she felt dizzy and she just fell down and she couldn't come to her sense for a long time then uh, so it took long time for her to back to normal then she drew her children when she came back to her normal when she came back to her senses uh, she took her children near to him and sat down near him she sat near him and she told him of things at home so whatever was happening in the home she was explaining him and asked about what had happened to him and then she also asked him what actually happened over there with him he told her all he explained her all and uh, she asked what 
uh, what can we do now she also asked what can we do what can be done next she was asking him we must petition to tsar tsar is the ruler of russia tsar is the ruler of russia we must petition the tsar not to let an innocent man perish his wife told it so she was telling him to write a petition uh, petition um to the to, to the tsar so that an innocent should not be punished for um, uh, bad thing because he is not the person who is the real culprit right so his wife told him that she had sent him. and now uh, they were telling and his wife told him that she had sent a petition to sir she also told that i had that that she had sent a petition to the sir but it had not been accepted this uh, the officials did not sir did not accept it at all actually now did not reply he didn't open his mouth at all but only looked downcast what do you mean by downcast depressed what's the meaning of downcast depressed so what do you mean by that so they both were discussing that uh, a, a petition can be sent to tsar uh, to not uh, let an innocent perish but his wife said even i have tried that she had tried that and in which uh, it was not at all accepted actually no did not reply he didn't put a word further he didn't reply at all but only uh, looked downcast depressed he was so worried then his wife said it was it, it was not for nothing i dreamt your hair had turned gray uh, you remember she was asking that day that particular day she is reminding now that it was not for nothing i i no i understood it was not for nothing for all these purpose only god has given us the uh, symptom of uh, symptom in the dream uh, and uh, uh, you remember do you remember that she uh, she reminded him you should not should not have started that day she again told him that he shouldn't have started that particular day and passing her finger through his hair she was passing her hair uh, passing her finger through his hair and said vanya dearest vanya means uh, gracious gift of god okay vanya dearest uh, tell your wife the truth she was telling him she was asking him tell me the truth what happened was it not you who did it whether you have done that murder she was asking him so you too suspect me is it akshina akshina was shocked you too suspect me what are you suspecting me he asked his wife and hiding his face in his hand he he just put his uh, face uh, in his both palms and began to weep he began to weep like anything cry like anything then a soldier came to say that uh, that the wife and the children must go away go away so the time was up so the soldier came to put them away and akshina said goodbye to his family for the last time and that was the last time he bid goodbye to his family we are in page 7 now let's move to page 8 yeah we are in page 8 now when they were gone akshina recalled what had what had been said and what he remembered that as wife had also suspected him he said to himself it seems that only god can know the truth it's it is he it is to him alone we must appeal and from him alone expect mercy when they were gone when his wife and children were all gone akshina recalled what had been said he was remembering what all he spoke he spoke what all his wife spoke everything he remember uh, he recollected when he remembered that his wife also suspect had suspected him he uh, remembered that his wife also suspected him he said to himself he said he started talking to himself uh, that it seemed that god only can know the truth except god and he himself none else know the truth it is to him alone we must appeal he also said to him that only to god i can put a petition i can tell him whatever happened and from him alone expect mercy except from god from no one i can that is he could get mercy mercy means pity only he is he here means the god okay he is the only person to judge me he only knows the truth except akshina and the god none else know the fact right Uh, and akshina wrote no more petitions gave up all hope and only prayed to god then after that akshina started uh, uh, stop uh, he stopped writing 
he stopped writing the petition sorry he stopped writing the petitions to each uh, to each and every officials and gave up all hope he lost all his hope he lost all his hope and only started praying to god every now and then akshina was condemned to be flogged condemned i hope you know the meaning of that akshina was condemned to be flogged what do you mean by flogged condemned kandiga patta okay so meaning of flogged is yeah, flogged to beat with a whip or stick so savukatti solluvangale adha mari kambu kuchinaala kambu enna solradhu periya kambu urutta urutta katta nammaloda language solli adhe pola seriya he was akshina was condemned to be flogged and sent to the mines also he was sent to the mines when he was flogged with a knot when the wounds made the knot were healed so he was flogged and he was uh, he got wounds when the wounds made by the knot were healed adala aari ponadukapra he was driven to siberia with other convicts other convicts na other uh, criminals and avanoda uh, serndha arrestana makkal okay so siberia ka kapata yaar akshino along with his other convicts to siberia then he was driven to siberia for 26 years akshino lived as a convict in siberia so etana varsha vaalnaanga he was living there in the prison for 20 so we have to high remember all these points are very important children so it should be highlighted okay so he was convicted in siberia for 26 years his hair turned white his hair turned white black to white okay as no eda pole velayanada snow pole velayanada the beard dadi also grew long because of not shaving so adhu romba neelama ponu i mean valandu konde ponu thin long thin and gray even even his beard dadi became gray white okay now all is myth what do you mean by myth cheerfulness what do you mean by myth cheerfulness so myth went avanoda cheerfulness sandoshangal ella mangi ponadhu he stooped phone vilindhadhu he walked slowly he started walking very slowly meduva nadakaracha ena odambile tembillama ponadhu that's the reason why spoke little jaasi la pesilla konja konja dhan pesina never laugh sripe pocha manasu ena inga myth cheerful illa cheerfulness illa pochu so na no laughing but he often prayed so enna pannina he was only praying to god so continuous and non stop he was praying to god then um in prison akshina learned to make boots so akshina anga sila vishayangal kattukonda enadhu to make boots boots ayar ke kattukonda and earn little money out of which he earned little money adha konjam pana sambadichukonda okay with which he bought the li- uh, the li- li- lives of the saints adu or book odane okay so and the boot panni sambadicha panathil endu he bought the lives of saints in the book of vangina okay he read this book when there was a light enough in the prison so he started reading that particular book when there was enough light in the prison because it's a cell cell na irittu gohaya da irukku yeah so eppa velicham kadaikumo and konja velicham kadaikira samayatha he started reading those books and on sundays what he did and on sundays he went to the prison church so he went to the prison church and uh, and uh, he read lessons and sang in the choir so he started uh, reading the lessons over there and sang in the choir la paadum aarambicha so poor fellow right for his voice was still good so vaisa vaisa hi odambilla tembellama kooni kurigi poirundhalume voice la endha vidha maatram illa he was singing very well so he was blessed he was there with him right so on the voice alhaala irundhadu kekumbadiya da irundhadu okay the prison authorities like akshina for his meekness so on the polite nature amidiyana yarode endha vumbuthukum thumbukum pogama he was so quite calm and quite fellow he turned he was okay and the prison authorities ku anala avana romba pidichu pochu and his fellow prisoners respected him so kuda irundha avanoda fellow prisoners avana romba mari madip mariyada kodutha and they called him grandfather they called him grandfather let us highlight that so they called him grandfather and the uh, and the saint also they called him the saint 
when they wanted a petition the prison authorities about anything when they wanted to petition whenever the fellow co prisoners fellow prisoners wanted to petition the prison authorities about anything they always made akshina their spokesman so who who became their spokesman akshina became the spokesman of fellow prisoners so he was the first person to go and talk to them to convey the message whatever is a pro whatever was their problem and when there was when there were quarrels among the prisoners so sometimes it also happens prisoners could tell sound over the dum 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 till sound over yeah so when they use when they used to have any fight in between them they came to him to put things right who came akshina came to solve the problem and to judge the matter so what was the problem and to give a conclusion akshina was called now shall we move to page 9 children so hope you have understood So we are in page nine now. No news reached Akshina from his home. So uh, Akshina came to work. He was on a wait list. And that was a man. He was not even aware of his wife. And he did not even know if his wife and children were uh, still alive. So Avani came to Akshina. Akshina came to work. Wife and children were still alive. So Avani came to Akshina. Akshina came to work. Wife and children were still alive. So Avani came to Akshina. Akshina came to work. Wife and children were still alive. So Avani came to Akshina. Akshina came to work. இப்போ என்ன நடந்தால் ஒரு ஃப்ரெஷ் கேங் ஆஃப் கன்வெக்ஸ் கோ ப்ரிசனர்ஸ் வந்தாங்க ஒரு புதுசாக ஒரு பேட்ச் வந்தது ப்ரிசனர்ஸ் ஓகே தே கே இந்த ஈவினிங் ஓல்டு ப்ரிசனர்ஸ் கலெக்டட் ரவுண்ட் இந்த ஈவினிங் ஓல்டு ப்ரிசனர்ஸ் கலெக்டட் ரவுண்ட் த நியூ ஒன்ஸ் ஸோ ஏற்கனவே இந்த பழைய ப்ரிசனர்ஸ்லாம் இருக்காங்க இல்லையா அவன் அந்த புதுசாக வந்தாங்களோ ஒரு ஒரு அப்படியே அவன் உள்ளுக்கு போட்டு ஒரு சர்க்கிள் பண்ணி தே ஸ்டார்ட் ஆஸ்கிங் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் ஆஸ் தெம் வாட் டவுன்ஸ் ஆர் வில்லேஜ் தே கேம் ஃப்ரம் என்னென்ன கொஸ்டின்ஸ்லாம் ஓல்டு ப்ரிசனர்ஸ் நியூ ப்ரிசனர்ஸ் கேட்டால் தே ஸ்டார்ட் எந்த டவுன்லேருந்து வர்றான் எந்த வில்லேஜ்லேருந்து வரான் அண்ட் வாட் தே வேர் சென்டென்ஸ்ட் ஃபார் என்ன தப்பு பண்ணிவிட்டு இந்த ஜெயிலுக்குள்ளே வந்திருக்கிறான் எல்லா விவரங்களும் கேட்க ஆரம்பிச்சோம் Among the rest, Akshina sat down near the newcomers. So among the rest, back here is Rafa. Even the pan Akshina, the pan is newcomers. Can I tell you? Near the newcomers, he sat near the newcomers and listened with downcast air. So he uh, he listened with downcast, hopeless downcast. We have already seen the meaning of it, hopeless air. Uh, to what was said. அவங்க சொல்றதெல்லாம் அவ்வளோ தூரம் அவன் அதில் எல்லாம் காது கொடுத்து கேட்கல அண்ட் ஹி வாஸ் ஸோ டிப்ரெஸ்ட் ஓகே அவ்வளோ இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இல்லாமல் ஒன் ஆஃப் த நியூ கன்விக்ஸ் அ டால் ஸ்ட்ராங் மேன் சிக்ஸ்டி ஸோ அந்த ஒரு குரூப்பில் ஒரு நியூ கன்விக்ட நியூ கன்விக்ட என்ன பண்ணால் டாலாக இருந்தா ஸ்ட்ராங்காக இருந்தால் அபவுட் சிக்ஸ்டி ஏஜ் வந்து அறுபது வயசு இருந்திருக்கும் வித் அ க்ளோஸ்லி க்ராப் கிரே பியர்டு ஸோ க்ளோஸ்லி க்ராப் நல்ல ட்ரிம் ஆன க்ளோஸ்லி க்ராப்ட் ட்ரிம் ட்ரிம் பண்ண கிரே பியர் அகேன் ஒயிட் பியர் வாஸ் டெலிங் த அதர்ஸ் வாட் ஹி ஹேட் பீன் அரெஸ்டட் ஃபார் அந்த குரூப்பில் அந்த நியூ குரூப்பில் ஒரு நியூ கன்விக்ட் கன்விக்ட் அவனோட ஒரு டாலாக இருந்தால் ஸ்ட்ராங்காக இருந்தால் அறுபது வயசு மனுஷனாக இருந்தால் க்ளோஸ்லி க்ராப் கிரே பியர்டு க்ளோஸ்லி கிராப்ட் கிரே பியர்ட் கிரே பியர்டு இருந்தது அவனுக்கும் தாடி இருந்தது அவன் என்னத்துக்காக இந்த ஜெயிலுக்குள்ள வந்தான்ற கதையை அவன் சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தான் வெல் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஹி செட் ஐ ஓன்லி டுக் அ ஹார்ட் தட் வாஸ் டைடு டு அ ஸ்லெட்ஜ் அவன் என்ன அவன் என்னத்தை பண்ணியிருக்கிறான் ஸ்லெட்ஜ் ஸ்லெட்ஜுனா என்னது அப்படின்னா லெட்ஸ் கோ டு த கிளாஸ்ரி a vehicle pulled by horses for transport uh, for transportation in snow okay even sledge vandu romba snowy a irukra edathile maanala kuda edukapadum even dogs ala kuda edukapadum idu vandu horse nal edukapada kudiya oru sledge okay so even oda thappa enna na i only took a took a horse that tied to a sledge and the sledge la tie panni irundha oru horse da na eduthen thook kadathine appadi solran and i was arrested and accused for stealing na edhuga hai arrest aayirke because of stealing the horse anal than i inge vandirken solla i said i had only taken it to get home quicker adana thiradala vettukku chikram ponu nradhukaga than edutha and had then let it go adukapra na vittuta besides the driver was a personal friend of mine idu poha and the particular sledge oda driver and enoda personal friend vere and so i said it was all right no uh, it was all right anal na sonna okay all right no i uh, said uh, no they said you stole it but uh, but how or where i stole it they could not say ana um, officials na adey edukkuradhu thayara illa they said no stealing is stealing you stole it ni thirid nirka thirid irka but how eppadi where i stole it adala avangalukku solradhu enga edutha enga thiridina eppadi thiridina adukundana avangalta endha vidamana saatchigalume illa they do not have anything any sort of thing to prove them okay once really uh, i once really did something wrong na epo oru thara onnu thappu pannirna and caught and ought by rights to have come here long ago 
கண்டுபிடிக்கப்படவில்லை now i have been sent here for nothing at all ipo tappe idu mari or chinna tappu adu kuda this ledger of first driver kuda enoda personal friend da ana or idu or tappe kedaiya da ana idukaga na maata pottirukken ipo inge vandu ukkandukittu irukken appdi solra eh it's but it lies i'm telling you um, but it lies i'm telling you i have been to siberia before na idhu munnale siberia vandirukken but uh, i did not stay long but romba naal la na inge thanginadhu kadaiyadhu solra where are you from ah someone north and kekra adile nee enge nu vandirukka from vladimir he says my family are of that town my family are of that town enoda family ange irundha dhaan solra my name is makhar what is what is that tall man's name sixty year old man oda name makhar and they also call me semyonik semyonik so what is his full name makhar semyonik akshina raises his head and said akshina immediately raises his head because not really paying attention to them right So Akshina raised his head and said, "Tell me, Semyonik, do you know anything of the merchant Akshina of Vladimir?" So he was asking, "Do you know any sort of person whose name is Akshina, who was also a merchant from Vladimir, uh, Vladimir, uh, Vladimir family? Okay, are they still alive? Angalar, in the movie, or that are going to be there? Tell me, ma. After that, Akshina went to the man. Who is that? And the tall fellow went to the man. Who is that? Makhar went to the man. Okay. now we are on page 9 shall we move to page 10 ma yeah we are on page 10 now it's a long lesson okay lengthy lesson know them of course i do so what that uh, makhar is saying of course i know them know them theri man kitri of course i do enak nalla ve theriyum nakshnaus are rich nakshnaus are rich people though their father is in siberia sai be and akshna family oda father is siberia la iruka sinner like ourselves nammala pola oru sinner da oru thappu pannittu jail ku vandu maati irukka it seems nan nenikira apdi solra as you uh, as for you granddad he is calling him granddad as for you how did you come here neenga epdi inga vandinga granddad appdi kekka akshna did not like to speak of his misfortune so thanoda misfortune patti akshna eduvume solla virumbala he only sighed and said appdi perumu chuttu ukkandanta akshna for my sins i have been here in prison these 26 years so for my sins na senja paavangalukaga na inda 20 the our verse the jail ku lokanu irukra appdi solran what sense asked makhar makhar semyon enna sense enna thappu irukra appdi kekkan but akshina uh, akshina only said well well i must have deserved it. well well okay leave it and i am deserve i deserve this he said he would have said no more he would have he would have said no more but his companions avar adukapra onnu sollala onnu solla virumbum illa ana his companions other companions told the newcomers how akshina came to be in siberia siberia ki indha mari vandu eppadi ukkandirukkaru indha jail ku le 26 varsham ukkandirukkarandra da avaroda co fellow fellow prisoners ellar solliranga how someone had killed a merchant and not put the knife among akshina's things now how someone had killed a merchant and had put the knife among akshina's things akshina had been unjustly condemned yaro ortha konnirukra anda avan konna katti avan endha kattiyala konnano anda katti akshina bag la vandu vilundadnala akshina maati indha dumbatha anubhavichukondirukra unjustly adha justice illama avan anubhavichukondirukra appdi solranga when makhar semyonik heard this he looked at akshna so makar semyonik uh, paakra akshna paakra and he looked at akshna slapped uh, his own knee tannoda kali adichukra slapping on his own knee and exclaimed well this is wonderful so well this is wonderful really wonderful romba nalladhu appdi solla wonderful solla but uh, how old you have grown granddad evlo vayasana aala maaritinga granddad appdi solla yaar and 60 vayasana aalu solla avana paathu yaar akshna paathu the other asked him why he was so surprised one artha kekkara nee edhukku ivlo surprise aare appdi solli indha 60 vayasu semyonik ku kekkara and where he had seen akshina before idhukku munnal akshina nee enga paathirukkaren nu kekkara but makar semyonik did not reply idhu endha question ku makar reply panna badhile solla he only said it is he only said it was wonderful that we should meet here lads It's wonderful that lad means boys namm ellarum inga meet pannadhu nalladhu appdi solra 
these words made Akshina wonder whether this man knew who had killed the merchant. Now, Akshina is a man who 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 is a man. So he said, perhaps Simeon, you have heard of that affair or maybe you have seen me before. So Akshina is a man who 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 is a
as they were at that time. And the Sangila could be a young people under Pangalar, one with the clock, a long clock, a long clock, Nila Mark, currently in the Calvary, or a Nila Mark of the clock, that sort of dress. Okay, another was in his mother's breast, known on the Kaikor and the Arthur, mother's breast here means Kaikor and the Arthur. And then he remembered himself as he used to be young and merry. So Tanatan and Chipagran, the Vaislam, you were merry, happier and the Surichi, Rumba Sandoshma, fun loving boy or Nalia, man or Nalia. So Tanapati Rumba and Chipagran. He, he remembered how he sat playing the guitar in the porch of the inn where he was arrested. If you want to the scene, you can the guitar in the porch and the inn in the tea kudikar and the inn there is the tea kudikar and the kudikar and the tea kudikar and the 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 and now uh, how free uh, from care he had been. So, if you have a lot of people who are in the world, he saw in his mind the place where he was flogged. 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 He was He remembered the people uh, standing around him. The chains. On a chains are locked. In the, the convicts. The people around him. The, all the other prisoners around him. All the 26 years of his life. Prison life. So he was remembering all his 26 years of prison life. Life. And his premature old age. Ipo, Amade Santoshma Vandrana in the Aruvais, Aruvais order or credit tote from Andrika, right? So on the uh, premature, it's Rumba Chikrama Vaidan Alaita. So either Kavale Nala, Irvatanjua, Irvatarosh, and the jail will add in the Nala, the Pusaya, the one Kadanjaka other than Hale. Now Amanako and the Kadoluk Matana theory of reality, Bakiark and theory are right. So either Lame or Manas Rumba depression, I he. He thought it all made to him so wretched that he was ready to kill himself. So, the wretched meaning of wretched. Let's go to the glossary. We are in page 11, children. Wretched meaning dejected. What do you mean by dejected? Rumba uh, dejected. Hopeless up or hopelessness, um, okay, dejected. These are all the things. Yeah. So wretched that made him to uh, that he was ready to kill himself. Awana Tanatane, Takula Pandakaratika and the Inimel Namavan the Nathika. Hopeless side now. He became hopeless and in the world, the other day, Vara and the other day, 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 and it is all that villains doing, thought action now. So it is all that villains doing, are on the Makar, I want to think about it. And his anger was so great against Makar Simeonic that he longed for vengeance. And his anger, of course, necessarily. So, Akshina would have come up to the Makar Simeonic, and Vengeance na Again, going back to the last we are on page 11, children. Remember, vengeance, revenge, revenge na nata parivangudan. Okay, so our da kova ablo jasi jasi irundhu. So he definitely wanted to take uh, revenge against this man, uh, against that man. Even if he himself should perish for it. Adhika avan thana thani arichikan dalam paravala. Akshina usatte ponalam paravala. Avani arichikan on rala avan kova irundhu. He kept repeating prayers all night. And Giratri Fulla, he kept on praying to God, but could get no peace. During the day, he did not go near Makar Simeonic. And he did not go near Makar Simeonic. Nor even looked at him. He was very good at him. He was very good at him. He was very good at him. Who is number? Eva. Sorry. Number uh, action. Okay. Now we are in page 11. Shall we move to page 12? Ma? Yeah, we are in page 12. A fortnight passed this way. So, fortnight now 15 days. Of your banana over there. Akshina could not sleep at night. Uh, 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 and was so miserable that he did not know what to do. In a pantalone teriela, in a panla, in a panla, so miserable. In the Pandantriama, really depressed in the Pandarina, Kunal Lama, La Pesa Mother Lama, he was continuously praying to God what to do, what to do under the Ye, Manas Alapanchik, in the Pandatriama Alapanchik. One night, as he was walking about the prison, he noticed some earth 
uh, that came rolling uh, rolling out from under one of the shells one can one uh, sorry on which the prisoner slept he stopped to see what it was so enna nadandha or naal ratri one night as he was walking about the prison so prison la apdi nadandhu poikittirukka he noticed some earth tharaila bhoomil endha edho or movement therinja mariye irundha avanukku yaarukku actionukku he noticed that some earth came rolling out from under one of the shell under அண்ட ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஷெல்ஸ் ஒரு ஷெல்ஸ் கீழே இருந்து பூமி என்னமோ பூமிக்குள்ள இருந்து ஏதோ ஒரு மூமெண்ட் தெரிஞ்ச மாதிரி இருந்தது அர்த்தில இருந்து ஒரு ஷெல்ஃபு கீழே தெரிஞ்சு தெரிஞ்ச மாதிரி இருந்தது ஆன் விஷ் த பிரிசனர்ஸ் லெஃப்ட் அந்த ஷெல்ஃபில் ஷெல்ஃபில் தான் பிரிசனர்ஸ் எல்லாரும் படுத்துக்கிட்டு இருக்காங்க அதில் பூமி கடையில் ஏதோ ஒன்று மூமெண்ட் தெரிஞ்ச மாதிரி இருந்தது ஹீ ஸ்டாப் டு சி வாட் இட் வாஸ் இமீடியட்லி ஆக்சுவலாக என்ன பண்ணால் நின்று அது என்னன்னு பார்த்தான் சடன்லி மேக்கர் சிம்யானிக் கிரெப்ட் அவுட் ஃப்ரம் அண்ட் அதர் ஷெல்ஃப் அதுல இருந்து அந்த பூமிக்குள்ள இருந்து யார் வந்தா நம்ம அந்த திருடந்தாவமா யார் அந்த கொலையாளி மக்கர் சிம்யானிக் வந்தான் ஹீ லுக் அப் அட் அக்ஷினாவ் வித் ஃப்ரைட் அண்ட் ஃபீஸ் அக்ஷினாவ் பார்த்து கொஞ்சம் பயந்து போயிட்டான் அக்ஷினாவ் ட்ரை டு பாஸ் ட்ரை டு பாஸ் வித் அவுட் லுக்கிங் அட் இட் அக்ஷனாவ் அதை கண்டுக்காம அத மாதிரி அவனை கிராஸ் பண்ணி போனான் பட் மக மக்கர் சீஸ்ட் இஸ் ஹேண்ட் மக்கர் அவன் கையை பிடிச்சி விடுத்தான் அண்ட் டோல்டியம் தட் ஹேட் டக் த ஹோல் அண்டர் த வால் ஸோ வாலுக்கு அடியில் குழி தோண்டியாச்சு அவன் குழி தோண்டி தப்பிச்சு ஓடுறதுக்காக கெட்டிங் ரிட் ஆஃப் த அர்த் by putting it into his high boots avanu high boots oyramana boots la illa and manna nerapi velila kondu varanum illa so the manna nerapi nerapi kondu vandu boomi kadila or canal podra canal potu velila tappichu odrathukku from the prison to till the and the gate ku velila podrathukaga so prison avadi tappichu odrathukaga that is the main thing and uh, emptying it every day uh, out every day on the road when the prisoners were driven out for their work so ratri fulla thonduva appra and manna konde velila poduva so idhu da avan pannikindirukkan so emptying his uh, emptying it out every day on the road so every day idha pola pannavano and manna konde and boots la nerekano adha konde velila thattama idha avan vela edukaga and bhoomi kadila or ootai thondi indha end la andha end sorry indha room la irukano andha end la indha innor end ku ootai thondi velila thappichukkaradhukaga evlo buddhiya just to keep quiet oh, uh, just uh, just keep quiet old man and you shall get out too just why mode neeyo enoda tappichu pogalam if you blab nee eda olari kottne na they'll flog you they'll flog ona kandipa adipa and the life of uh, life uh, if you blab they'll flog the life out of me enna adipa okay yaar if you flab official step police official step nee eda solli kudutha na potu kudutha na enna nadakum kandipa enakku adi vidum and the life out of me na kandipa செத்து போயிடுவேன் அண்ட் பட் ஐ கில் யூ யூ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நான் அடி வாங்கி செத்து போகிறதுக்கு முன்னால் ஒன்று போனுட்டு தான் நான் அதை மாதிரி சாவேன் அவங்கள்ட்ட அடி வாங்கி சாவேன்ட்டு சொல்கிறான் அக்ஷனா ட்ரெம்பல்டு வித் ஆங்கர் இப்போ அக்ஷனா ட்ரெம்பல்டு அவன் நடுதுனா கோபத்தில் ஆஸ் இ லுக் அட் ஹிஸ் எனிமி அவனோட எனிமியை பார்த்து அப்படி கோபத்தில் நடுங்கிறான் ஹி ட்ரூ ஹிஸ் ஹேண்ட் அவே கையை பிரிட்டு எழுதுதான் சே ஐ ஹாவ் நோ விஷ் டு எஸ்கே அப்புறம் சொல்கிறான் எனக்கு எல்லாம் இந்த ஜெயிலேருந்து தப்பிச்சு போகணுன்ற எந்த ஆசையும் இல்லை யூ ஹாவ் and you have no need to kill me nee ena saahadikavum venda you killed me long ago nee erkenave ena pala varshangalukku munnala ena saahadichachu uiroda saahadichachu as to telling of you i may do so or not as god shall direct as to telling you as to telling of you ungalta solradilla i may do so or not okay enna enna vanalum nadakkum i may do i may do so or not na vande போய் கடவுள் அவங்க அவங்கள்ட்ட அஃபிஷியல்ஸ் போய் சொல்கிறேனோ இல்லையோ காட் ஷால் டிரெக்ட் கண்டிப்பாக கடவுள் கண்ணை காட்டுவார் அப்படி சொல்லுவாங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் டே வென் த கன்விக்ஸ் வேர் லெட் 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 அவுட் டு ஒர்க் அடுத்த நாள் ஆஸ் யூஷுவல் எல்லாரும் வெளியில் அந்த பிரிஸ்னஸ்க்கும் ஒரு சில வேலைகள் கொடுப்பாங்க இல்லையா அந்த இதில் புல்ல வெட்டுறது அதை வெட்டுறது இதை வெட்டுறது அந்த பூச் வைக்கிறது இந்த மாதிரி அந்த சின்ன சின்ன குடிச்ச தொழில்லாம் கற்றுக் கொடுப்பாங்க இல்லையா ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி மற்ற ஆட்கள்லாம் போயாச்சு த கன் த கன்வே சோல்ஜர்ஸ் நோட்டீஸ் தட் ஒன் or the other of the prisoner emptied some earth out of his boot so one convey one sipai enna pannina noticed one of the other uh, other of the prisoners emptied some earth பூமியை தோண்டி அதை எம்டி பண்ணிக்கிறான் மண்ணை தோண்டி எடுத்துக்கிட்டிருக்கான் அவனோட பூட்ஸ்ல இருந்து ஒரு 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 சிப்பாய் கண்டுபிடிச்சிட்டான் the prison was searched and the tunnel found so finally enna pandra tunnel la kandupidichidran tunnel la enadhu அந்த தோண்டி வழி வழி கொண்டு இந்த இடத்துல இருந்து அந்த இடத்துக்கு வழி கொடுக்குறது தான் டனல் ஸோ ஹி ஃபைனலி த ப்ரிசன் வாஸ் சர்ச் அவுட் அண்ட் த டனல் வாஸ் ஃபார் த கவர்னர் கேம் ஸோ இன்சார்ஜ் பர்சன் வர அண்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஆல் த ப்ரிசனர்ஸ் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் ஹூ ஹேட் டக் த ஹோல் யார் இந்த ஓட்டையை தோண்டினான்னு சொல்லி கவர்னர் என்கொயரி வைக்கிறார் தே ஆல் டினாய்ட் எனி நாலேஜ் ஆஃப் இட் எல்லாருக்கும் சொன்னால் எங்களுக்கு இதை பற்றின எந்த நாலேஜும் கிடையாது எல்லாரும் சொன்னால் அதே போல தோஸ் யூ நியூ வுட் நாட் பி ட்ரே மகர் செம்யானி அதில் தெரிஞ்ச மகர் தான் பண்ணினான்ற தெரிஞ்ச ஆட்களும் மகர் செம்யானிக்கு சப்போர்ட் பண்ணானே தவிர வாயை தொடர்ந்து மகர
தோண்டி சொல்லு அக்ஷனா let him pay for what he ha- what i have suffered let him pay for that avane adukunna nu anubhavikkato what i have suffered na edukaga suffer pannana adu avane pay panni vaangikuva appinittu nenikira manasu lakshana but if i tell they will probably flog the life out of him but na akshay idu makkar da pannina nu solliten vechukunga so kandipaga they will flog a flog man adiche saga adichiduvanga and maybe i suspect him wrongly maybe i suspect him wrongly and after all what good it would be to me enna nadakka poradha avan sattalume enna nadakka poradha onnu nadakka poradha it is not going to help me in any way adha akshana oda point well old man respected uh, repeated the governor so uh, well old man okay old man tell me the truth unmai sollu pa appdin kekkran yaaru governor akshana oda who has been digging who has been digging under the uh, under the wall yaar savathu kida tanal thondikindrad adha aala sollu nu akshana glanced at makar simyanik akshana ipa paakalam yara makar simyanik paakalam and said i cannot say your honor inala solla mudiyadhu your honor your honor oru madipana vaarthen okay it is not god's it is not god's will that i should tell god's oda will kedaiya adha naan dhaan sollanum nu so it's not god's will kadal vandu eva illa andha vaartha varakudadhu nenikira do what you like with me i'm uh, i'm your hands ninga enna solla mudiyadhu i'm i'm in your hands na ungalta enna naane tharren நீங்க என்ன பண்ணாலும் எனக்கு பனிஷ்மெண்ட் கொடுங்கன்னு தைரியமா பேசுவாங்க ஓகே ஹவர் மஸ்ட் கவர்னர் ட்ரை அக்ஷனா உட் சே நோ மோர் எவ்வளவுதான் கவர்னர் ட்ரை பண்ணி பண்ணினாலும் அக்ஷனா சொல்றதுக்கு தயாராகவே இல்லை அண்ட் சோ த மேட்டர் ஹேட் டு பி லெஃப்ட் சோ அப்படியே அந்த மேட்டர் விட்டு போச்சு விட வேண்டி வந்தது that night when akshana was lying on his bed and just beginning to do so on the ratri akshana vanda avanoda bed la padutirukna and thoonga aarambikna someone came quietly and sat down uh, on his bed so avanoda bed la vanda avan pakkathula undu avan ukkarra he peered through the darkness and recognized makkar so and irukkulla adu yaar ennu ta akshana paaka moichi pandra avan kandu pidichadra adu makkar dhaan solliyadu what more do you want of me inna unakku enna vena engitta endu appadi kekkara akshana asked akshana why have you come here nee edhukku inga vandirukke nu kekkara makkar simyanik was silent and neither are makkar so akshana sat up and said endu ukkandu solra what do you want enna vena go away or i will call the god ingen poidu illana na kavalara kootidu venu solra makkar simyanik bent close over akshana akshana pakkathu appadi bent aara and whispered i want demetrish for give me so he's telling i want demetrish enna mannichidu appadi solra we are in page 13 children சாகடிச்சது கொல்ல பண்ணது நான் தான் சொல்றேன் உன்னோட திங்ஸ்குள்ள போட்டதும் நான் தான் I meant to kill you too. I meant to kill you too. I meant to kill you too. But 
I heard a noise outside. And I will also take it. So I hid the knife in your bag and escaped out of the window. Abdi window lent up to Odi Pitan. Bakula and the Kathia Rathakara Padanjakathia, Bakula Pota, Abdi Tapich Pitan. Achna was silent. Amidia Machina and did not know what to say. In the Salon Triella, Amidia Makar Simeonic slid off the bed shelf and knelt upon the ground. So uh, bed lay in the slid airing uh, it. Uh, knelt on the ground. Tarela mutu potra. Mutu potnakra. Ivan Dimitrich said he. Ivan Dimitrich kupra. Forgive me in a manichude. For the love of God. Forgive me. For the sake of God. For the love of God. Please forgive me. I will confess that it was I who killed the merchant. Now the confess panera. Now the open our children. Eh? That it was me who killed that merchant. And you will be released and can go to your home. Ni release ahi on order. Hometown, Vladimir, it is easy for you to talk, said Akshina. Akshina children, it is easy. One of the easy But I have suffered for you these 26 years. In the Irvatar Vashama, one of the suffer I in the jail. Where could I go now? My wife is dead, and my wife said the poyage, and my children have forgotten me, and according to the mother tongue. I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go. Makar Simeonic did not rise. I have nowhere to go. He is here. But beat his head on the floor. He is here. He is here. I have to admit, forgive me. He cried. Again, he is crying. I have to admit, I have to admit, I have to admit, I have to admit, I have to admit. When they flogged me, with the knot, it was not so hard to bear. So when they flogged me, I have to admit, I have to admit, I have to admit, as it is to see you now, if I want to park in Batia, Perikra Valina and Jastia, yet you had pity on me. No good on a care in Nandan Kati Kuduka is taken. You have pity on me on a game pair of Allah Yeraka Miriti and did not tell it. Oh, you know, the Samina Solali and the governor get up for Solavili, Tinjibuda. For Christ's sake, forgive me. For God's sake, Jesus Christ, you just forgive me. Wretch that I am. And he began to sob, forgive me, wretch that I am. And began to sob. He started crying. Sollu, Nandan sollu, and began to sob. When Akshina heard this, uh, heard him sobbing, he too began to be. Akshina, makar ara the paakran keekran ke taone irit veera the samay. So he also started crying. God will forgive you, said he. So ra kadaulo na mani par. Maybe I'm a hundred times worse than you. And at these words, he grew light, and and the longing for home left him. He no longer had any desire to leave the prison, but only hoped for his last hour to come. So, if you are actually not the last hour, sit the poor, poor, no one drop. Oh, if you are so on the level, I mean, he is fed up with his life, prison life. But now the other people are not getting any. So, what what is happening now? He hoped for his last hour to come. In spite of what Akshina had said, Makhar Simeonet confessed his guilt. But when the order for his release came, Akshina was already. So in that shit, order for his release. So actually now that the police yell, the police yell. The one who came, I think, was my own chicken. The man, the Vishnu, or any key police officials. But there is also they gave the order for his release. And that was the problem. Actually, was no more. He was already dead. So hope you understood the story, children. Shall we move to the next page? Fifty. That's all. Thank you very much. Hope you have understood. Thank you very much.